You're feisty little brats, aren't you? Sit still and I might think about feeding you. I wouldn't eat anything you give me, you freak. Freak, eh? You don't know the half of it. I'm scared. See what you've done? She's terrified of the dark, let alone as some stranger grabbing us in the middle of a carnival. I've been looking forward to this all week. So have I. A little birdie told me you'd be there. Wait, do you know us? Not so much of a stranger now, am I? Who are you? Are you a friend of Dad's? A friend? No. Do I know that weasel? Yes. Hey! He's not a weasel. He's more of a man than you'll ever be. Would a real man sack all his staff and leave them to rot on the streets while he lives it up in a massive house? Did Dad really do that? No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't do something like that. I beg to differ. Whatever you think he did to you, there's no reason to kidnap us. Please, let us go and we'll get him to talk to you. Oh, I'm sure you would. And then you'd no doubt talk to all his police officer acquaintances and let them know what a bad man I am. At least just let my sister go. No, it's both of us or neither of us. What a smart thing to say. Ah! Shut up, little girl. No, I'll scream. The neighbours will hear us. I'd love to show you we have no neighbours, but that's not possible right now. <phone rings> Hello, I'd like to speak to Mr. Garrell, please. This is his associate. Help us! Right, I guess I'm going to have to call them back. I need to sort you two out first. What do you mean? What are you going to do to us? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. This will change the way you think for the rest of your lives. Would you like me to apply it? Right, now that you're silent, I can make the call that may secure your release. <laughs> Hello, it's me again. Could I speak to Mr. Garrell, please? I'm afraid he's unavailable. Can I take a message? I wouldn't have thought so. I've got his two daughters here. He's, uh, in a meeting. I don't think you understand me. Disturb him! I don't think you want to interrupt me, little girl. Hello? Hello, sir. Oh, I guess old habits die hard. Let me try that again. Hello, scum. Who is this? I wouldn't worry about that. I have your two daughters here. They're quite... Unhappy. I don't understand. Well, they're supposed to be at the carnival with their mother. And I imagine she's looking for them while you waffle to me. Listen carefully. I... Well, how do I know this is for real? Shall I send you one of their fingers? Please, uh, don't hurt them. I'll get you whatever you want. Just, just don't... I know all about your police contacts. I would consider it unwise for you to contact them at this point. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, please, just give me some time. Please. I'll ring back in five minutes. Not a second more. Well, shall we get acquainted? My name is Gunther. Is that your real name? Scarlet, stop. You're going to get us hurt. I don't know. He doesn't look very serious to me. Well, he did say he was going to, you know, our fingers. He wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? I think he is serious. I'm Scarlet. I'm, uh, Rachel. 
You're a terrible liar. She's Violet. Scarlet! Let me tell you why I've got you both here. Your dad laid off a load of staff to save himself some money. He's the boss. Isn't that what he's meant to do? Yes, but he did it because he was siphoning money off to pay for lavish luxuries. Do you remember seeing Beyonce last year? She was really good. I bet she was. Meanwhile, just after I was sacked, my son Timothy had his birthday party. I had to steal him a cake, which, as you can imagine, wasn't very easy to hide. Stealing's wrong. Even your son knows that. Have you ever had a birthday party without a cake? No. Well, let me tell you, it sucks. I didn't want my son, who is younger than both of you, having a birthday party with no cake because of something your dad did. That's really sad. But it's not worth kidnapping us for. Here, I've got a bracelet. Sell it and get your son something nice. So your old man relies on the charity of his two daughters, does he? No, of course not. I wanted to do something nice for your little boy. I'm sure he's really nice. And he's sure he doesn't know anything about any of this. I don't do this for a pastime, you know. I never missed a day of work until I met your dad. And then when I started working for him, he gave me one bonus. One. That was to get me thinking he was a nice guy. He is a nice man. I'm sorry he had to let you go, but... Let me go? He fired me. On the spot. Boom! Gone! On the doll! He won't buy me a doll. It means this man had to get benefits. Yeah. And let me tell you, my wife doesn't do well on benefits. She's got certain things that I should be providing for her. What if she knew you were a kidnapper? That wouldn't help your relationship. Don't be smart, kid. I'm not. Really. What would she say? She never will. I won't be telling her. Think of every movie that's ever been made. Does the kidnapper get the money and live happily ever after? Or is there a big shootout when he ends up in jail? Or dead? Shut up! I know what I'm doing! <phone rings> put him on! Hello? Is that you? I have your money. Where do you want me to put it? Bring it here! No! Put it in a bag and leave it outside! Wire it to me! Are you going to give them your bank details? That's enough! You! There's only one way to end this! Leave her alone! Remark is a next-generation AI that uses hands-free voice commands in order to get you the best feedback you need, faster. Remark loads a database of thousands of user needs in order to best give you an accurate response to the reviews you will gain from your creative projects.
therefore, you don't need to waste time with human interferers. Use remark today.